नमस्कार टुडे उल स्टडी केराटोलाइटिक एजेंट्स आज वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस्ड दैट द स्किन हैज थ्री लेयर्स एपिडर्मिस डर्मिस एंड हाइपोडर्मिस सो एपिडर्मिस इज द आउटर मोस्ट लेयर एंड देयर आर फोर टाइप ऑफ सेल्स प्रेजेंट इन एपिडर्मिस एंड द मेजर सेल्स 90% ऑफ दो सेल्स आर केराटिनोसाइट्स which produce keratin and if there will be proliferation of keratinocytes then there will be uh, increased production of keratin resulting in hyperkeratosis and this hyperkeratosis is associated with many disorders like psoriasis acne corns warts dermatitis ringworm infections or fungal infections so this keratolytic agents uh, uh actually they uh, remove this uh, keratin or decrease the keratin uh, by two ways number one by inhibiting the proliferation of keratinocytes or by mild peeling of the superficial layers of the skin so local action uh, can be uh, peel, just peeling of the uh, layers uh, uh, so that the keratin Uh, deposition can be keratin debris can be cleared some of these drugs are salicylic acid propylene glycol which is uh, used often uh, in combination with salicylic acid and trichloroacetic acid phenol formalin 5% uh, there is formaldehyde solution lactic acid benzoyl peroxide which is 5 to 10% cream or lotion benzoic acid all these uh, Uh, uh act locally and the mechanism is mainly they solubilize the cell surface proteins because they are acids and uh, they solubilize the cell surface proteins and uh, because of that uh, uh, the stratum corneum does not remain intact because of the cell surface proteins the uh, the stratum corneum remains intact so Uh, when it, the, these proteins are solubilized, uh, so it will not remain intact, and the, that will result uh, in uh, removal of this keratotic debris called desquamation of keratotic debris. So salicylic acid uh, uh, is used in different con concentrations. Zero point five to two percent uh, will be effective against acne vulgaris. At six percent, it will be effective against dandruff, seborrheic dermatitis, psoriasis. at uh, 15 to 20 per, 25% in lactic acid it will be effective against warts and thick calluses again the 40% plaster is also effective against warts and calluses and the salicylic acid is used topically all these are used topically so salicylic acid though it is used topically can also cause salicylism and death Uh, because even though it is uh, used topically 1 g of 6% salicylic acid can raise the plasma concentration of salicylic acid uh, up to 0.5 mg per deciliter and the toxic threshold of salicylic acid in our plasma is 30 to 50 mg per deciliter of plasma so if uh, that is reached then that will cause salicylism and death and in this case we can treat it by hemodialysis in addition to th these drugs there is urea which in addition to its keratolytic action uh, also possesses hydrating property and uh, soften the skin it, it also possesses uh, possess anti pruritic action uh, that is uh, uh, effective against itching so the 2 to 20% of urea creams or lotions are used used against psoriasis and atopic dermatitis then some other drugs like podophyllene fluoroacetyl cantharidin they inhibit the cell prolif proliferation and is effective against warts podophyllene as you know a 15 to 25% solution and, and uh, these are anti cancer drugs actually and uh, they have specific affinity for microtubules as you know microtubules uh, mm, help in spindle formation and the spindle formation the uh, uh, is required in metaphase of mitosis so the cell division is inhibited by uh, the by inhibiting the microtubules uh, the podophyllene and uh, fluoroacetyl is a anti metabolite again uh, anti cancer properties it inhibits the 
thymidylate synthetase interfere with the synthesis of uh, uh, DNA because uh, thymidylate synthetase converts uh, uh, deoxyudine monophosphate to uh, the deoxythymidine monophosphate which is required for the, you know DNA synthesis. So mostly it is inhibiting DNA synthesis, it also can inhibit RNA synthesis. Then cantharidin uh, acts on mitochondrial uh, oxidative enzymes and uh, uh, decrease ATP level. So that also uh, inhibits cell proliferation. Tretinoin has uh, a different mechanism. It increases the epidermal uh, cell term turnover and uh, increases the slowing of uh, stratum corneum and effective against uh, acne. So all these uh, uh, are drugs uh, used uh, uh, against keratin as keratolytic agents. Thank you.